Hey there everybody, Eric Outer here with my SIG P365. Now you're here today stopping by on the Eric Outer YouTube channel, which is the firearms half of my Outer Limitless channel. So if you're not familiar with who I am and what I do, my name's Eric Outer, I am your host, and if you're interested in hiking, camping, backpacking, outdoor excursions, knives, flashlights, backpacks, tactical gear, EDC gear, take a look over at my Outer Limitless YouTube channel for more details. But today on the firearms half of my channel, well, the P365, this is my very first firearm. I'm coming at you today, novice to novice. This is really a place for beginners as I'm beginning myself, but if you are stumbling across this video and you're a little more advanced or even an expert, do me a favor. You have a lot of great information to share with all of us. Leave some comments below, help guide us along. If there's anything I've learned through running my Outer Limitless YouTube channel, you guys have a lot to teach us. But today, well, what we're gonna do is take a look at a couple of holsters from K Tactical. This one here, Kydex. This one here, Leather. Now, let's be realistic. When you get into firearms, well, it can be quite expensive. Granted, you have to buy the firearm in the first place, but if you're where I'm at, I just went through my training, I got my license, paid all that money, got my firearm finally in my hands, well, this does not come with a holster. So for the people at K Tactical, I would like to say thank you very much as they did provide these for this review and video. Now, I would like to premise all of this by saying, again, I am not an expert. So what exactly are you supposed to get for quality carry, uh, fit, finish, with a holster for a firearm like the SIG P365? Well. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have all the answers, but I'm gonna look at these and I think I'll have a pretty good idea. So we're gonna run through these in a little bit of detail. We'll check them out and see if we can come up with some answers. Now, before we get into this video, safety check, absolutely clear. So that's a big deal for me. Just making sure that every time I get into this, this is clear. Now, I don't even own ammo yet, as ridiculous as that sounds, but bottom line is I'm here to practice. And so here as we get into it, well, let's start with the leather. So here you can see the K Tactical Sig Sour P365 leather holster. Uh, coming in this bag here, pretty straightforward, just a little bit of packaging. And as we get this out, well, here we go. So the first things first, you have a bit of a spring clip, so it feels pretty sturdy, which is probably a good thing. So this here being an in waistband leather holster, I am right-handed, and this is a right-hand leather holster. So in waistband, this is gonna be nice where that spring clip should do a pretty nice job holding onto my belt. Now again, only time will tell, but we will give it a quick shot here. Now they call this a full trigger coverage, which is for me, absolutely what I want. I'm going to point out the fact that, again, I am simply a novice. Like, I have literally owned a firearm for a matter of hours, to be honest with you, so having this here with full trigger coverage, that's going to be a big deal. Now, they do call this a flat back design. You can see a little bit molded here, uh, kind of a little bit of wet forming to really fit around uh, the different components of the firearm. So both your slide release and your takedown lever really right there kind of molded in. And again, you can see that trigger guard area. Now they also say that this will cover your front sights so that you don't end up getting that sight snagged on the draw. And I'll be curious to see how this fits. So again, this is going to be the in waist belt style. So this will be on the outside, clipping onto my pants or onto my belt, and then inserting the firearm. Well, that is definitely the case. So you can see here, nice full coverage on the trigger, that's perfect. And the front sights here, you can see they are buried behind the leather. So as you draw the firearm and pull it out, well, that's definitely going to help again with lack of snag. So that's nice. Now I have to say the form seems just about perfect. I mean, it's not going anywhere, but at the same time pulls out very smooth. So I would have to think that even for me, not having a ton of experience, this is going to be 
pretty nice. Now, the nice thing that I do see is as you look here, no rock, no wobble. It is quite firm. Feels really good, actually. And I think the leather feels to be more than suitable. Personally, what I will probably do, and I do this with a lot of things, is I'll probably treat this, I'm gonna do a little bit of research, see what people do to actually treat uh, holsters. There are different things that you can use that make this a little more supple. Uh, and there are other things that you can use that make it a little more stiff. Uh, at this particular point, I don't want too much uh, leaving residue on the firearm itself because that's going to be a maintenance issue. Not that I think it's going to cause any reliability issues, but I do want to be just a little bit mindful and careful. But I do think it would also be very nice to protect this where I'm going to sweat. Uh, I might actually, you know, if I'm carrying this potentially in the woods or hiking or something like that, or a little bit of a more active activity, I do want to have this just a little bit protected. Now on the back here, you can see the K-Tactical logo, so stamped in there, and I would say this is generally fairly well done. Now I don't have a lot of data points to share with you, but my mind says that at the time of this video, this particular holster is roughly $24. That to me seems to be very reasonable to getting you started. Now again, I'm gonna take a step back and say, well, if you're somebody new, and again, novice to novice, for me, personally, I had a lot of expenses getting into a firearm. At this point, if I needed a holster, well, granted, and in full disclosure, you know, I did not pay for this. It was given to me for review, but at $24, you're getting a very nice product here, capable of doing exactly what you need it to, and it's not going to break the bank. Not to mention that, but I think the red looks kind of stylish. I have experience with spring clips like this. They're generally very durable. They don't often bend and warp out of place. And if the leather is properly treated, I would say this is going to be a home run. So at this point, I'm going to try to get this in my waistband and let's see how it works out. Now you can see here using this for appendix carry, I have a one and a half inch webbing on my belt and you can see this fitting nicely. Now that is exactly one and a half inch spacing on the spring clip. So if your belt was any wider, that would not necessarily work. But my first impression is that this actually feels pretty good. It is smooth. It's not causing any sort of rubbing or anything like that. Now, this whole thing, I'm going to have to get used to anyway. Uh, is this digging into me? Well, no, look, it's actually even protecting the rear sights from digging into the meat of my stomach. Now, I kind of could choose to lose a little tiny bit there, but um, at the same time, that is not digging into me. So very nicely crafted. It's the perfect shape. It protects that beaver tail from digging in. So I'd say the design on this is about perfect and removing the firearm, well, there you go, and inserting it, no problem. So that seems pretty good to me. So again, as a novice, um, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, I could see me gaining comfort with this and really learning with this and feeling pretty good that, you know, I am in control. It's holding everything pretty much where I need to. And I don't feel as though there's any concern that that's going to fall out. And I love the idea that the trigger is perfectly protected. So, so far, I would say this is pretty sweet. So now carrying my firearm on my strong side, here you can see inserted into the waistband. Now, again, I'm going to have to get used to all this, but to me it feels like it might be just a little bit tight where you can see that squashes down just a little bit. And then now to get this back into place, well, I would personally have to sort of futz around with this a little bit and then get it to sit down and in place. And that's not even all the way down. There we go. So is that just me and needing practice? Probably, but my initial impression, I mean, it draws well, but my initial impression is to get that to sit down and in place, it's just going to take a little bit. So will this break in? Will it ride the way I need? Hard to say. How's that going to work? I don't necessarily know. In terms of, again, protecting me, that's kind of nice. This might work out pretty well if I was going to conceal carry out on the go. Like if I took my shirt and really kind of 
concealed it there is it going to hold it tight to my body is it going to print well not too bad i mean i feel like it's holding it pretty well concealed to the point where it's really hard to tell so from a low profile perspective this definitely meets my objective and at least at this point I could probably sit down without too much difficulty. Do I need to adjust this a little bit? Yeah, I probably need to shift it forward just a touch, but that seems to me like it's going to work out just fine. So overall, not too bad. And now here for rear carry, again, able to draw the firearm, no problem. And again, this is where I'll need some significant practice to get used to this and not shoot off my fingers or uh, I would say um, shoot off my ass and actually get this back in the holster. This might not be the most practical for a guy like me because I'm going to struggle, but trying to get it in there, yeah, that's, that's in. I'm not happy with that. Again, I'm a novice. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but as you can see, that's not the easiest for me. Now, something else that I think is worth talking about, very important, there are no sharp spots. Everything nicely rounded, nicely contoured, nothing sharp that's going to cause damage to your firearm. So as you actually insert it in, well, bottom line is it is very smooth. And I think this is going to break in very nicely over time and really become a good serviceable holster. So generally speaking, I like this quite a bit. And so next, here is the Kydex. So this says it's gun and flower, which is kind of interesting. But again, uh, provided by K Tactical. So again, thank you very much to the people at K Tactical. And as we get into this here, popping this open, well, here you have it. So. This here, again, an in the waistband style. You'll notice on the outside here, a nice sturdy plastic clip. Well, that's for your belt. And overall, just a cool looking sheath. Now, Kydex being nice because you should have good quality retention. You'll notice here that it has a really nice red interior, stylish, looking very good and looks to have some similar features just in terms of the fact that you should have roughly a full trigger guard and also some protection along your waistband, which is nice. You also end up with a small Allen key, which allows you to kind of dial in the tension. You'll notice on the inside that spacer, well, this can be dialed in a little tighter if you like it, a little looser if you so choose. I think that's a great feature and will really aid in dialing in the perfect retention. Taking the firearm and inserting it, well, looks like it's gonna fit pretty nice. Moving it around, a little bit of wiggle, but not too bad. Now at this point, it does seem to be quite loose. I would not personally have too much comfort with this. So I'm curious what happens if we take this Allen wrench, let's kind of tighten it down just a little bit to see what we get. And as we get on this here, yeah, so that screws right down. I'm just kind of holding that in place on the back side. And there you go. So now at this point, it's at least not falling out. Did I go too much? Oh, <laughs> oh that is sexy. That is satisfying. I love it. Pretty much nailed it. Maybe I'll go just a little smidge tighter, like just a little crank. Ah, oh, that is just pretty. Got rid of the side wobble all together. That is just fantastic. You can see the muzzle nice and buried, protecting the sights. Now the back sights, not quite as protected as with the leather. That's a little bit of a shame, but at the same time, these sights are not overly aggressive, so I don't think that'll bother me, but I wish this Kydex came out just a little bit more and just curled around those sights just a touch, but that's pretty nice. Appendix carry, uh-oh. 
appendix carry in the waistband here you can see now when i first pulled that up you notice it slid out if you're not careful this clip might pull past your belt that's a little bit of a shame i think if you're not careful that might be a bit of a liability so the clip might be not necessarily the best as you see here it is a decent plastic clip but unfortunately it just seems to ride up quite easy without pushing down tight so that is something i'm going to have to keep an eye on but again getting it back on the waistband for the appendix carry if you seat it carefully behind your belt the question is will it stay well at that point there you go so and what i like about the kydex is it doesn't lose form this again feeling pretty comfortable but i can tell you this does dig in just a little bit more than the leather the leather does a nice job where it's just a little bit pliable and kind of molding a little bit to your movement just enough but the kydex is very rigid and especially with the firearm in there yes that is going to be completely rigid so is that going to dig into you for sure but at the same time nice and positive that's going to work out very well strong side carry on my hip again that's going to work out very nice now this working out way better way better than the leather because the leather compresses but the kydex nice and firm so that there working out really well now the one thing i can tell you and i personally don't care this for me is going to get used and I'm not going to say abused, but I am going to absolutely use this wear on it. If I get some hard use patina out of my firearms, that's not a bad thing. Am I going to get a little drag and some marks and some scuffs from the Kydex? Yeah, man, I am. But guess what? I'm going to love that about this. I want my stuff to be used. And if you see scuff marks, because I've taken this in and out and in and out and I've used it and it leaves that nice bit of rub and patina, I am all down for it. I mean, give it to me. So that to me, no problem. Sights nice and protected generally overall in the front and in the back. It actually is not going to bother me. That's nowhere close to digging into me where the rest of the holster is nice and firm. So the Kydex doing a wonderful job. And at this point, not really pulling off of my belt. I may need to wear a different belt if I'm going to carry. It might be something I need to invest in and experiment with and learn about. This type of webbing belt might not be the best, maybe a little bit thicker. But overall, that's going to be mighty nice. And now finally, behind me, well, there you go. So can I get this back in without looking like a fool? Oh yeah, much better. So I mean, the Kydex is really much better i would say as somebody who's learning and trying to utilize these different positions than the leather is the leather going to be really a good option for appendix absolutely but quite honestly in my opinion at this point the kydex is the way to go so k tactical nicely done bradford how are you my friend what's going on buddy not much. Good night here tonight. A little music. Yeah. Talking little guns. Very you know, fun. Yeah, a lot yeah. of fun tonight. So yeah, we are here in the Black Sunshine <laughs> studio. We can have some fun. Uh, talking about holsters. Now, uh, Brad, I got a couple of them here. These are by K Tactical. Mm -hmm. uh, these are specifically made for the SIG P365. Mm -hmm. um, and specifically the um, Micro Compact. There are more than one version. So, yep. uh, Brad, you have yours. Um, that's the nice thing about the SIG P365. I bought mine um, and you bought yours because we said, well, it'd be nice actually to both have the same firearm. There's right. a lot of benefits to that sometimes. Yeah, so. absolutely. Uh, but yeah, it's a little safety check here. Uh, make sure your weapon is in the... Uh, we have daylight. We have no rounds in the chamber. We are yep, safe. Safe, safe and clear. Safe. Yep. So um, I wanted you to check these out because to me, in my opinion, this is a great way to start. You know, being uh, new to firearms, you have a lot of upfront costs. And, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, the SIG P365 does not come with a factory holster. So right. uh, you got to come up with solutions. And I think the guys at K-Tactical here definitely have something for you. So I wanted you to check it out. Um, this is their Kydex. Mm -hmm. which uh, here, double layer Kydex, which is cool. Very cool. Whoop. You can see, is this Kydex on that? Yeah, so this is all yep. 
Um, one thing I will say about this holster, I actually like the holsters that are leather on the inside, Kydex on the outside. Mm. This is all Kydex. It has a tendency to uh, maybe mar your finish a little bit the more it goes in and out. Yes. But, you know, for a $29 holster, what are you going to do? Like, well, it's, it fits like a glove. Yes. It's not going to come out. I mean, and this, I love this clip too. I mean, it, it can go on your belt. We were talking about hiking and, yes. and and getting into the outdoors a little bit more and to just have this you know on my pack if we run into you know mr black bear not even to kill him just to scare him you know that that's that's an option so i mean it's super rugged it is and um you know when you said mar the finish i was actually looking at that pretty carefully and I've been running mine literally well, in and out it. of there and no problem because they, they do use that nitride finish, which is um, pretty durable. Sure. But my other thing is I personally like good hard use patina. Mm -hmm. If it happens, that's just because I'm actually You're carrying using and using my yeah, firearm. That's true. So, yeah. Yep. One thing that, um, you know, I, I think would be interesting, and if you want to check it out, uh, certainly feel free, but you'll notice that this does have the ability to cant it, which is very nice. Um, I've been carrying this now for a couple weeks. And I've very much enjoyed the fact that, you know, I can kind of, you know, go to sit down. I have been carrying an appendix um, and just kind of sliding this to the side and buying me a little bit of space when I go to sit down. So it's pretty that nice. That is very nice. Like, because appendix can be a pain. Yeah. Like, literally a pain. Literally a time. pain. When you sit down, it, it tends to dig into your hip. Uh, but to have that versatility to be able to actually just move the holster and not have to worry about touching the trigger, touching the safety, everything's encased. Yep. You know, it's, it's a nice option. And the other thing, just so that you're aware, which is pretty cool, is you do have this little tension adjustment. Yep. So if you, um, over time, you know, it is a thermoplastic, it will kind of loosen, loosen up a little up, bit, sure. but yeah. it'll also break into your gun, which is kind of nice. Um, but at the same time, you tighten that down, gives yeah, you a little more a retention. Yeah, retention. And to your point, if you were going to go hiking, maybe you tighten that down just a little bit, just to get Absolutely. that added, added to make bit sure. of safety. Uh-huh. So... Very nice. You want to introduce that one? Yeah. So, um, again, uh, K-Tactical. This is their leather holster. And actually, before we get away from the, the Kydex, 29 bucks. Yeah, I mean, it's just, pretty unbelievable. Listen to the click when you put it in. Ready? Everybody listen. Ready? Is that, it, it's that's, satisfying. That's very satisfying. <laughs> I mean, yeah. she's home. Put yeah. it that way. Yep. Which is which is nice. Yeah, I've I've felt very comfortable with that. I really like it a lot. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Um, but yeah, so the leather. Um, you know, I think with leather you do need to be a little bit careful. What I found is it has a tendency to squash depending on how you're carrying it and where you have it on your body. But uh, yeah, here you take it, check it out. So nice little leather holster there. Again, great for inside the waistband. The way this is mounted, you go here. Probably carry an appendix. Doesn't have the the joint that yeah, we talked about. Correct. So I haven't carried with with this particular holster. I think you're going to leave this with me tonight. Yeah. To just I want you to check it to out. Check it out. It a good and run. with it yep. for a little bit. That's fine. Um, but yeah. So definitely interested to see how this gun fits here and lives here. You know, at work or you know, running errands, sitting down in the car, whatever, however. Yep. You know, and whatever I'm doing at the time. You always have to have the confidence. Um, and Absolutely. you know the comfort um, especially with your holster because you know that is what's keeping it concealed I mean really right. one of the most important things. and safe it's keeping yes. you safe Correct. because it's, it's it's blocking off all the trigger so yes you know you wouldn't want to put this in your pocket and just walk around even if, even though it does have a safety it is a trigger fired um, striker fired weapon excuse me yep. striker fired weapon there's no hammer um, so it's not like you know you just want to be careful with that. That's yes. all. So I, I like that it's you know it's fully encased and it's solid leather. I mean it's it's very it's nice, leather, but it's it's sturdy. Nicely formed. Yeah, nicely formed. Yep. I mean, they do a nice job. I mean, it it is perfectly form fit. I mean, it couldn't be more on the screws and where what, the muzzle comes down. Yeah, the reason why they did that it's protecting your front sight. Which is nice. It's 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 keeping it from snagging. It's also protecting it from you know banging around. So, um, yeah, very, nicely done. And the other thing nice. that I like is if if you notice the back side of the leather, it's actually wrapping around your rear sights, mm -hmm. um, so that the sights aren't really digging into the into your meat. You know. Yeah. So very nice. Yeah, the stitching looks good, and uh, yeah, man, I think you're going to enjoy it. Yeah, I can't wait to just you know have it on and 
see how it fits, see how it works. The only thing I've heard about leather, and you know, I'm again coming from the novice perspective, is uh, you know, leather sometimes, if you're not careful, can grab at your trigger because it does collapse a yeah. little less than you know, the, the kydex is firm, so when right. you click in, there's nothing to really you know, grab at that trigger. But if you're not careful, little bits of the leather kind of can curl in, but uh, you know, collapse keep... in this manner, yeah, like. like be compressed this way mm -hmm. yeah or, or which makes you, sense because it is pliable material right? right or even when you're going in you know these little corners can, could, like, could get grabby you know, yeah, yeah get grabby mm -hmm. so just something to keep an eye on you know obviously you know do it carefully pay attention use your manual safety absolutely um, practice with it and yeah be curious to, to see how it goes for you i'll definitely so. check it out and yeah. live with it for a couple of weeks and see see how it goes sweet and so getting back into the topic of, you know, getting into firearms and the hobby, it's expensive. No, it's um, so, uh, you know, you, you got to buy yourself the whole Let me guess. I don't even, I don't know what this costs, but I'm looking at the stitching. I'm looking at the clip. It's got a really nice, I actually don't know what you would even call that, but it's like an inside adjoining side of the clip, really to, to grab your belt. Right. And to make sure it's not going to come off, right? It's not just, it's not just a, here, let me see if I can show you. There's... There's two pieces of metal. There's one under there, and then there's another ribbed piece of metal that's spring-loaded. Um, and what I really like is this. Well, I don't even know how... The wet forming. The wet, I guess, wet forming? Is yeah. that what it's called? Yep. I mean, it's perfectly aligned to allow for the takedown lever and the slide release to just... It's hard to see, I'm sure, on video, but it is perfect. I yep. mean, they really did a nice job. I mean, I don't know. I'd say... 49 50 bucks 49.99 24 bucks so wow gets you started for that's very reasonable that's money. super reasonable yeah so i mean that is really nice so yeah k tactical doing a nice job keep it up k tactical enjoy keep it, it up our limitless thank you very much yeah, yeah i'll let you know how it goes all right see you guys excited to excited to try it bye guys and so again, going back to my statement that getting into firearms is expensive, especially for my first one where I had a lot of upfront costs. So here, this double wall kydex, nicely formed, perfect retention, dialable retention, decent clip that seems to be mostly doing its job, but again, security and the ability for me to really learn and gain confidence, 30 bucks. So that to me is pretty awesome. So either way you go, these are going to work out mighty nice. So K Tactical, again, I'd like to say thank you very much. Now, when I first started talking with the people at K Tactical, they knew I was a knife guy. And well, they sent me a cool little bonus. So K Tactical has a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, they have different accessories, they have uh, bags, bug out bags, they have optics, they have a bunch of different things, including knives. So here, a K-Tactical knife, now fairly cheap overall, but pretty cool. Um, I am not the hugest fan of a compound blade, so both the uh, straight edge and also the serrated, but at the same time, having good serrations is definitely helpful. So nice overall action with these thumb studs, opening up nice and easy, has a liner lock, and pretty cool. So nice little addition to my knife collection and a nice job by K Tactical. And so if you're interested in either one of these, do me a favor, take a look at the links below. K Tactical does a huge amount of sales on eBay. So if you wanna to go to eBay, check out their store. They have a lot to offer. And then also you can check out their website. So a couple of places where you can get these. Now, granted, most of their marketing is done for eBay, but they have been reaching out to reviewers and channel hosts such as myself to give them a little bit more boost. And I have to say, I mean, again, and I keep saying it, but I mean, I'm a novice, but at the same time, I'm a gear reviewer. I know what to look for and I know what works and what doesn't. Both of these definitely work. And for me, I'm actually excited just to have some good quality products to get me started. So if you are in the market for your new firearm and you need yourself a quality holster, I do strongly suggest taking a look at K Tactical. And so again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at K Tactical. Great products, a nice lineup overall, well fit, well formed, good thought process, nice design, and products that for me at this point, 
I just need to continue to practice, gain confidence, a little bit of proficiency, but more than anything else, just enjoying the sport of shooting and getting into this gear. And so with that said, we'll see you guys the next time. So, all right guys, thanks for stopping by. Hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.